Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Master Computer Science Subjects. I'm planning to create a series of videos on the subject, Automata Theory and Computer Level, just only by solving the video question papers. Those who have registered under this university already know the syllabus. And also I would like to remind you that I have already created a playlist in the name of Theory of Computation, which touches all the basic concepts of the subject automata theory and computability. So while solving the question papers, I'm not going to redo the basic concepts. I request my viewers to go and refer to those videos if you don't understand and continue to watch these videos also. And I'm planning to solve the problems module by module. So let us begin with module one. Already I have displayed the questions here. The first question came in the year December, January 2018 question paper. So the question goes like this. It is asked to design DFSM. DFSM means deterministic finite state machine, which accepts strings of A's and B's that are ending with A and uh, that are ending with BAB. So sigma for the given language, sigma is nothing but a set of alphabets. It is A comma B. Let us try to make a guess of the strings. What are the strings present in the language? So n is equal to the very first string. What we can make a uh, guess is b a b. Then a b a b is possible. Then a a b a b is possible in the sense sequence of a's that are ending with b a b. We can think of other pattern like sequence of B's that are ending with BAB. And uh, before ending with BAB, here there is a possibility of combinations of A's and B's like this. Or else BAB, BAB is also possible. So these are the pattern of the strings that belong to the language. It is not possible to generate all the strings that belonging to the language since this language is infinite. So just we made a guess or we realized so what are the patterns belonging to the language. Now let us begin with the design. To begin with the design, first we should consider the very first string of the language. Okay, what is the first string of the language? It is BAB. Its length is three. The length of BAB is three. It means in the skeleton, while designing the transition diagram, we require at least four states. Three plus one, four states we require. So let me draw all the four states. So Q0, Q1, Q2, and we have one more state which is Q3. Q3 probably is the final straight. Q0 is the start straight. From the start state to Q1, the machine reads B. From Q1 to Q2, it reads A. From Q2 to Q3, it reads B. As of now, if we consider the machine, it is recognizing only the first string BAB. Since it is DFSM, from every state, on all the input symbol, there is at most one transition possible. So from the state Q0, already there is a transition on B. So let us think from the state Q0, how can we define A? We can define A like a self loop. Now just see the machine. The machine is reading any sequence of A's or any length of A's and it is ending with BAB. Right, this pattern is belonging to the language, so the machine is accepting. So from Q0, A is also defined, B is also defined. Further, no more transition can be defined since it is DFSM. Now let us move on to the state Q1. From Q1, on reading A, it goes to the state Q2. What about on reading B? That also we can, uh, we can define like a self loop. Now, if you look into the machine, it is reading B, sequence of B's ending with AB in the sense anyhow it is ending with BAB. So this transition is also allowable. Now let us move on to the state Q2. From Q2 already on B it is defined. What about on A? 
from Q to on A, we can't define like a self loop. If we try to define like a self loop, it means our machine will start recognizing the strings in such a way B, A, A, B also. But strictly, every string should end with a pattern B, A, B. So from Q2, if suppose the machine happens to read A, let us connect the transition back to the state Q0. If it reads A, we are ensuring anyhow it is ending with B, A, B. Now move on to the state Q3, Q3 on A, Q3 on B. These are the possible transitions. But we can't define those transitions as a self-loop. If we define like a self-loop, uh, after reading BAB, we are allowing the machine to read any number of A's and B's. That is impossible. So we can think of those transitions back to the previous state. So how do we connect it? From Q3. If it happens to read A, because there is a possibility we can have strings like this, B, A, B, A, 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 B, A, B also, all right? So after reaching Q3, there is a possibility for the machine to read A's like this. So how do we connect it? From Q3, on reading A, connect back to the state Q0. So that after reading this A, we are confirming it is ending with BAB. Similarly, from Q3, if it happens to read B, let that be connected to Q1 in the sense, it is already reading the B and make sure that it is ending with AB. So this is the solution for the first problem. Okay, now let us continue to solve the second problem. First of all, uh, read the question properly. The question is, we need to find the epsilon closure of all the states for the given DFSM. So what is epsilon closure? Epsilon closure for the given state. Let me type it here. Epsilon closure for the given state are nothing but the states that are reachable only on epsilon transitions. That are reachable only on epsilon transitions. Okay, let me try to increase the font size so that it is visible to you all. Yes. So epsilon closure, we will be trying to find every time for a state. When we try to find it for a state, it, uh, it will reach some of the other states only on epsilon transitions. Those states we are supposed to identify. So how do we do that? So let me create a space to do this problem. And I will start solving from here. I hope the transition diagram is visible to everyone. So let me try to solve from here. Epsilon closure of Q0. This is how we have to write the notation. Epsilon closure of Q0 is first by default, we have to include the same state Q0. But from Q0, there are no epsilon transition. There is a transition only on A. So that's all. Epsilon closure of Q0 is Q0. Let us find epsilon closure of Q1. So first, by default, we have to include the state Q1. From Q1, there is no epsilon transition. That's all. Epsilon closure of Q1 is just Q1. Next, let us identify epsilon closure of Q2. So by default, let us include Q2 first. Now from Q2 on epsilon, it reaches the state Q3 here. So let us include Q3. From Q3 on epsilon, it reaches Q4 and Q6. Let us include that also, Q4 and Q6. That's it. From Q2 on epsilon, it reaches Q3. From Q3 on epsilon, 
the machine reaches a state Q4 and Q6. Again, from Q4 and Q6, explore for epsilon transition. There are no transitions, so you can leave it. But at the same time, from Q2, there is another epsilon transition which leads to Q9 that we have to include it here. So epsilon closure of Q2 is Q2, Q3, Q4, Q6, and also Q9. Okay, now let us try to identify what is epsilon closure of Q3. First, by default, let us include the state Q3. From the state Q3 on epsilon, it reaches Q4 and Q6. Let us include that also. Now go to Q4 and Q6 and explore whether there are any epsilon transitions from there. No, from Q4 there are no epsilon transition. From Q6 also there are no epsilon transition. That's it, we have identified. Now let us find what is epsilon closure of Q4. Epsilon closure of Q4, first by default write Q4. Since there are no epsilon transition from Q4, that's it. Similarly, uh, let us try to identify what is epsilon closure of Q5. Okay, now uh, let me write it. Since I need a space, I'll write it on the other side. Yeah, now let us try to identify what is the epsilon closure of Q5. So epsilon closure of Q5 is equal to first by default, let us include Q5. From Q5, check for epsilon transition. Yes, there is an epsilon transition to Q8. So let us include Q8 also. From Q8, check whether is there any epsilon transition. Yes. From Q8 on epsilon, it reaches Q9 as well as it reaches Q3. So let me include at Q9 as well as Q3. From Q9, let me try to identify whether any epsilon transition exists. There are no epsilon transition. Go to Q3. From Q3, again, there are epsilon transitions on Q4 and Q6. Let us include that. This is how we have to find the epsilon closure of every state. So what is epsilon closure of Q6? Just by default, blindly include the same state Q6. From Q6, there are no epsilon transition at all. So let us close this set. Now, epsilon closure of Q7. First, include Q7. From Q7 on epsilon, it reaches Q8. From Q8 on epsilon, it reaches Q9 as well as Q3. We know that from Q3 on epsilon, it is able to reach Q4 and Q6. So those states are also included. Epsilon closure of Q8. First, by default, we have to include Q8. From Q8 on epsilon, it reaches Q9 as well as Q3. From Q3, there are epsilon transitions on Q4 to Q6. Now we write what is epsilon closure of Q9. Epsilon closure of Q9 is Q9. That's it. We have found the epsilon closure of every state. So what is epsilon closure for the given state? From the given state, just we need to identify the transitions which are reachable only on epsilon. And finding epsilon closure is the first step, or I can say it is the zeroth step while converting the NFSM to DFSM, or while finding the equivalence of equivalent DFSM for the given NFSM. So this is the basic step. I hope you all have understood this. If any queries is there, please comment. Also, please subscribe to my channel and continue to watch. Thank you.